It's day 114. <laughs> oh, the 29th year and beyond. Um, today, I want to re- um, talk about the sound of silence. On day 82, we talked about the sound of silence as it referred to um, a quote from the movie, The Story of Us. Today, I want to talk about the sound of silence in a different context. Um, Paul Simon of Simon Garfunkel Garfunkel wrote a song when he was 21 called The Sound of Silence, but it was redone by Disturbed, and it's one of John's favorite songs. talks about hello darkness my old friend and it's this this coming creeping in his brain and it's it's revisiting it's coming back and that was something that i i deal with on a regular basis um as a person i feel like i'm very strong but my mom is a strong person i always wonder was i doing what she did or as i'm a good mother like she is a good wife like she is good wife like um my mother-in-law, am I doing it right? You know, am I doing what this person doing? Too much visions on TV of, of what the perfect wife is like. And it really has caused me sometimes a lot of anxiety. Well, you know, <clears throat> one of the things that uh, Gail and I do realize is that uh, regardless of what anybody else does or how anybody else does their relationship, you must maintain the integrity of who you are. Uh, so... <clears throat> Uh, you may have other examples and, and definitely other people with opinions and ideas about how you should do, what you should do, if you should do, and why you should do. But at the end of the day, for us, we focus on the three that really need to be involved in this marriage, she and I, and Christ at the center. Okay, and he goes on to another part that I want you to hear as well. Hear my words that I might teach you. Take my arms that I might reach you. Okay. So with that, um, well, that's just deep to me because I'm a, I'm not a very vocal person. I'm somewhat shy. And to do this vlog and to come in before people and, and tell our story and talk about the darkness and talk about the hard times and, and the struggle is real each and every day. Um, it's just a reality for me. But we're not here to tell you how to live your marriage or how to be perfect in a marriage. I'm just telling you to be real. I'm just telling you to accept each day as it comes. I'm just telling you that some days will be hard days. Some days will be easy days, but not every day. And regardless of what you go through, you have to be willing to grow through it with your partner. Going through it together. um, And and Gail's right. You know, in no shape, form, or fashion are we trying to... uh, uh, present ourselves like we have all the answers. We don't. We don't even have all the questions. <laughs> uh, we're just sharing with you things that we've learned along the way, things that have worked well for us, and hopefully they might be of value to you. But at the end of the day, uh, it doesn't matter what happens, what doesn't happen. Uh, at what we believe is most important, you must be authentically who you are and grow through what you go through. Together, connected. 
letting go of the outside forces because when um, Paul Simon wrote this, this was a time when he felt like his music wasn't being heard the way he wanted it to be written and, and heard. And that's sort of what a marriage goes through. Don't allow the outside forces to come in. Stay inside. Be connected. Well, you know, full circle, talking about the movie The Story of Us. Yeah. This is your story. That's right. This is the story of us. Yep. It's different from every other story, yeah. but it's ours. Until tomorrow. Bye. Unless the Lord says the same.